children welcome back to maths track 1 session in yesterday's class we finished up to exercise 2.4 right now today we are going to learn a com means completely different from the exercise 2.4 that is nothing but decimals okay till now you learned the fractions now you have to learn about decimals because why i am telling this decimals means you all know how to do addition and subtraction 2 plus 3 equals to 5 5 plus 6 equals to 11 like that okay you are very good in that area but i have seen many children children you don't uh, believe when are coming to decimal points they are getting confused how to add and how to subtract really i was shocked but that is only called as negligence okay that means you will not keep your mind that means you have to keep your concentration there only while doing the sum but why you are getting addition and subtraction of decimals wrong means i'll tell you okay because before uh, telling the decimals how to solve the problems basing on decimals first i would like to tell you where you are doing errors okay you all know actually 2.5 3.43 these are all comes sorry 3.43 8.57 you all know this these are the decimals okay but coming to here if i ask the question 2.5 and 3.43 only i am asking add these two there 2.5 3.43 so like this you land okay very good there is no problem here you will write here 3 5 plus 4 9 2 plus 3 5 but if i ask to add 2.5 and 2 2.5 and 2 here the problems comes i'll tell you why listen very carefully here it is 2.5 no here 2 is there all will write this 2 here and they'll add like this so this is absolutely wrong why i'll tell you because you don't know the place values if you know the place values exactly that means place values where to place if you know then you will never get any mistake while doing addition or subtraction okay so now i am going to tell you the place values of decimals okay children listen very carefully now here i gave you one number children that is 235.147 okay listen carefully how i read this one i read this one 235.147 but almost all the people means they will read 235.147 they will read like that that is error you have to read after the decimal point individual numbers means 147 you have to read like that not 147 point after how to read means you have to read individually 147 this one 235.147 means absolutely wrong 235. 147 this is the way of reading that means after the decimal point you have to read like that but here a decimal point is here no at the center between two these two numbers here left side if you clearly observe this is called left side here left side will call it as a whole number whole number means decimal before what is there all are called this whole numbers and here you know this is decimal part this is called decimal part because after the decimal it is there so that's why it is called as decimal part okay children 
Now, listen. Now I am going to tell you the place values. Here, 200 means I am talking about now whole numbers. Okay, first I will take whole numbers and I will talk. 235. So, 5 in which place? 1s. Next, 10s. Next, 2 is in 100s. Okay, I took the whole number part and I wrote the place values. 5 is in 1s place, 3 is in 10s place, 2 is in 100s place. But you all know how to write. 5 1s means 5 into 1. 3 tens means 3 into 10. Like that. 2 hundreds means 2 into 100. These are all you all know. Okay. But where is coming to the decimal part? That is 147. Now, if you read like that, again, problem. You have to read 147. Okay. You have to read 147. Now, 1, 4, 7. Now, 1 is in which place? Can anyone say 1 is in which place, children? Do you remember? Because you learned in 6th standard, I think so. 1 is in 10th place. 10th. T-E-N-T-T-H-S. 10th place. Okay. Now, 4. 4 is in 100s. H-U-N-D-R-E-D-T-H-S. 100s place. Whereas 7 thousands T H O U S A N D T H S thousands. Okay? See here. I wrote here one number that is 235.147. Okay? So before decimal is called whole number and after the decimal is called decimal part. Okay? Now I told you the place values. How to identify the whole number's place values? That is 235, where 5 means it is called 1's place, 3 tens place, 2 hundreds. And even you can write like this also. 5 into 1, 3 into 10, 2 into 100. Now, decimal part. Coming to the decimal part, 1, 4, 7. So 1 is in tens place, tenths, tenths. 4 is in hundreds, 7 is in thousands. Now, how to write now this one in this way? 1 is there, no children? Tens, no? So, 1 into 1 by 10. That is nothing but 1 by 10. So, 1 by tens. Okay? Now, hundreds. That means 4 into 1 by 100. So, this is called hundreds place. Okay? Now, coming to the thousands. So, 7 into 1 by 1000. So, nothing but 7 by 1000. This one also if you want, you can write 4 by 100. Okay. But how uh, 1 by 10 is equals to 1, 7 by, uh, sorry, 4 by 100 equals to, uh, 4 by 100 is equals to in this fourth place and 7 by 1000 means seven, how you got like this. I'll tell you. Listen very carefully now. Okay. Okay, see children here, just I am telling you how to write a fraction in decimals. Actually, it is not there for you, but learn what is there in that. Okay, now this is a fraction, but here I am telling you all the fractions with the denominators of 10. 10. Why? Because when there is a multiples of 10 in the denominator, it is very easy to write in decimal form. Okay? When there is a multiples of 10 in the denominator place, it is very easy to write in decimal form. Actually, we have to do the division like this one. 10 0 0 7 point. So, point gives you 1 0. 10 7 70. So, like that, you have to convert into decimal. But without doing this one, when there is a multiples of 10 in the denominator, you can write very easily in decimal form. Okay? Listen here. I'll tell you a small trick. Okay? Just for remember. 7 is there, no? Write here 7 first. What is there? 
7 is there in the numerator, write 7 first. How many zeros are there in the denominator? 1 0. Okay. So leave one number, leave one number and place decimal point and keep 0. So 0 0.7. See here 0 0.7. Okay. Now you may get doubt. Sir, if there are two more than two numbers are there, suppose uh, and the question is like this. Then also I tell you, first write 187, 187. Now only 10 is there, that means 10. So leave one this one number and place a decimal. Now it is 18.7. Okay. Suppose 7 by 1000 is there. 7 by 1000 is there. So how to write now 7 by 1000 means, see here. Write first 7, 1, 2, 3. That means 3 zeros. That means 3 digits you have to leave. 1, 2, 3, decimal point 0. So 0 0.007. This is how when the fraction with the denominator of multiples of 10, you can write in decimal form very easily. Okay? Okay children? Now we will enter into exercise part okay before entering into exercise i would like to tell you one more important thing that is 2.5 and 3.75 i gave you here 2.5 and 3.75 they'll ask you the question which is greater which is greater means how to observe i'll tell you here 2 right here 2 here 3 so, 2 is less than 3, right? That means, this is less and this is greater. That means, 3.75 is greater. Okay. That means, you can tell very easily, when both digits, means here, decimal before, here one digit, here decimal before one digit. So, you are telling very easily. But, after the decimal point, that means, 7.87 and 7.8 the question is like this 7.87 and 7.8 then now my question is which is greater how you are going to tell which is greater means see here compare here decimal before here 7 here 7 so both are equal so we cannot say which is greater now now here 8 here 8 now also we cannot say which is greater. But now here 7, here nothing is there. So that's why always do one small favor to that sum. Make it equal along with the highest number of digits after the decimal point. Means, listen very carefully. After the decimal point, how many digits here? 2 digits. After the decimal point here, 2 digits. Here, after the decimal point, how many digits you have? 1. So, when you have 1, okay, then you can apply 0 here. Because if you apply 0, there is no change. 7.80 is nothing but 7.8 only. So, 7.80 is nothing but 7.8. There is no change in the value. That means, now, these both, after the decimal point digits and this also will be equal. Now, 8, 8, 7, 0. Now, up to here, you know, 7, 7 equal, we cannot say which is greater. 8, 8, both are equal, we cannot say which is greater. Now, 7, 0, that means 7 is greater than 0. Then you can say that 7.87 is greater. Okay? Now, you may get doubt. Sir, 2 and 2.0 they give. Then what will you say which is greater? We cannot say which is greater because can you tell is 2 is greater or 2.0 is greater? I will tell you. 2 here and this is 2.0. Just now I told you 2 also can be written as 2.0 because there is no change in the value. 2 also can be written as 2.0 and here also 2.0. Now here also 2, here also 2, here 0, here also 0. That means 
दीज बोथ आर इक्वल ओके सो लाइक दैट यू हैव टू चेक एंड से दैट विच इज ग्रेटर और विच इज लेस लाइक दैट ओके सो डोंट डू ब्लाइंडली दैट बाय सींग हियर सपोज आई विल वन मोर क्वेश्चन चल रहे सेवन पॉइंट एट सेवन सेवन पॉइंट जीरो एट देर इज लॉट ऑफ डिफरेंस बिटवीन एट जीरो एंड जीरो एट ओके नाउ सेवन सेवन बोथ आर इक्वल एट जीरो नाउ विच इज ग्रेटर एट सो अगेन दिस ऑन इज ग्रेटर सेवन पॉइंट एट ओके सो बी केयरफुल इन कंपेर इन द डिजिट्स इफ यू कंपेर द डिजिट्स वेरी परफेक्ट देन इट विल बी वेरी इजी फॉर यू ओके चले नेक्स्ट वील एंटर इन टू एक्सरसाइज पार्ट ओके चले नाउ टेक अट योर टेक्स्ट बुक पेज नंबर फोर्टी सेवन एक्सरसाइज टू पॉइंट फाइव आई थिंक नाउ वन सर इज टेलिंग द एक्सरसाइज सर इज एक्सप्लेनिंग एंड गिविंग मोर होमवर्क आर यू फीलिंग लाइक दैट नो You know one thing, children. Without knowing you all, you are improving your math skills. Is it wrong? I am telling you. No, I am telling you truth. Yes or no? Because now when I gave the homework, you started thinking by your own how we are going to cancel this uh, numerator and denominator. Like uh, when only single fraction is there, numerator and denominator cancellation. Because I observed few children. That means. You may get doubt now. So how you observe? Because the way they are asking the questions in WhatsApp, they are asking the question, sir, how to do this sum, sir? Is it uh, right, sir? Yes. That means they started thinking. That means they are improving their own skills. That means they are not completely depending upon others. They are listening the video very nicely and they are practicing like that. Means I am thinking all are doing the same. So I am appreciating you very much, children. Good job you are doing. Okay. So. Exercise two point five. Now you may feel again, sir is appreciating and giving more homework. Yes, no, it's not like that. Okay, so exercise two point five. The question is, which is greater? The first question, exercise two point five, which is greater? I am going to explain, and you all know that what I am going to do at the end. Zero point five or zero point zero. Zero zero point zero five. Okay, now zero point five and zero point zero five. So zero here, here also zero. But I told you one thing before doing that. See that after the decimal point, both the digits are same or not? Is it same? No. So then do one thing. Zero point five zero or Zero point zero five. That means you can apply one zero here. Now these two, these two. That means two digits here, two digits here. Now you compare very easily. Here zero is there. Here also zero. That means both are equal. Both are equal. Now coming to five. And here also zero. So now five is. Uh, Equal or greater than five is greater than zero. So obviously, what will happen? Zero point five is greater than zero point zero five. Okay, like this, you have to compare the decimals, which is greater or which is smaller, like that. Okay. Next, coming to the second question, express as rupees using decimals. Express um, rupees using decimals. And the first question is seven paisa. Seven paisa is giving seven paisa and is asking the question express as rupees using decimals. That means what? What is this express as rupees using decimals? That means you are thinking. Something different? Yes, really different. Listen very carefully. Okay, seven paisa is there, no? Actually, convert this one into paisa uh, rupees first. Actually, you all know one rupee equals to hundred paisa. Hundred paisa. One rupee equals to hundred paisa. Okay, remember one thing before doing this seven paisa. 
here one rupee equals to hundred paisa. If I gave you five rupees, if I gave you five rupees, and I'll ask you to convert five rupees into paisa means what will you do? One rupee how much? I'm not discussing about the sum. I'm discussing the general. One rupee equals to hundred paisa. Five rupees means convert this into paisa means what will you do now? One rupee you all know hundred paisa. Five rupees means how much? So five rupees equals to five into hundred. So that is five hundred paisa. Okay. In general, or when you are writing, okay, I am telling you. This is rupees five. That means now you got uh, rupees symbol is like this. But in the exam, I mean, while reading the question, you all will read rupees five because it was given R S first and uh, number last. So that's why while reading rupees five, that is wrong. Five rupees. But you have to read five rupees. But while writing, you have to write R S first. Okay. Now. When you are converting now rupees into paisa means we have to multiply with hundred. But whereas when you are converting paisa paisa into rupees, you have to do division. That means you are coming in reverse direction. You have to understand like that. Why? Because one rupee hundred paisa. Five rupees means what you did? Five hundred paisa. Now the question is given five hundred paisa. If I give Five hundred paisa here, and I'm asking now convert five hundred paisa into rupees means what will you do? Means see here, one rupee you know hundred paisa. Now five hundred paisa means how many rupees? You don't know that is five rupees, but you have to do the solution. How you got the solution? Listen, five hundred into one by hundred. This is the concept. If you know any sum, you can do it. One rupee hundred paisa. Five hundred paisa. We don't know how much. So five hundred paisa into one. That is five hundred into one divided by hundred. So here zero zero get cancelled. So you left with now five. That means five rupees. Okay. Is it clear now? Now I am going to explain the sum which is given in the exercise two point five. Okay. The given question is. Express as rupees using decimals. The second question, okay. The second question is what? Express as rupees using decimals. That is the first question is seven pies. The first question is seven pies. Okay, children. What is the question now? Seven pies. Now, as I told you that. One rupee equals to hundred paisa. One rupee equals to hundred paisa. Now what to do? Here they given the question is seven paisa. Now seven paisa we have to convert into now decimal. Okay, but before converting into decimal, that means they asked in rupees to be in decimal. So first convert the seven paisa into rupees. Here, why I am writing this side means because it is given seven paisa. So in paisa side only I am writing. That means seven paisa. Now the question is seven paisa equals to how many rupees? Just now I told you now children how to do seven into one by hundred. Seven into one by hundred. That is seven by hundred. Now seven by hundred. How will you write in decimal now? Zero point zero seven. Now that is zero point zero seven is rupees. That is zero point zero seven rupees. So like this, you have to do children. Okay. So zero point zero seven in decimal. Now that is also paisa. Now see the second question, children. Seven rupees, seven paisa. Seven rupees, seven paisa. Then what is the difference between the first question and second question now? Here, seven paisa. We have both seven rupees and seven paisa. But we don't want like that. 
he has to change it into rupees only complete in rupees completely in rupees okay so like this first 7 rupees is there don't touch that 7 rupees why because it is already in rupees so no need to touch that now 7 paisa is there so first convert this paisa into rupees 1 rupee equals to 100 paisa 1 rupee equals to 100 paisa now 7 paisa means what as I told you just now 7 into 1 by 100 so that is 7 by 100 so that is nothing but 0.07 rupees you can write here rupees like this so rupees 0.07 what 7 paisa 7 paisa means 0.07 but it is already in rupees now what is that rupees 7 rupees now we have to add these two 7 rupees plus 0.07 rupees because the complete sum you want in rupees only that's why we are adding this rupees and what we converted paisa into rupees that we have to add okay that's why I told you how to do addition and subtraction just in the in this video only now 7 and how you do place now 0.07 see here here write decimal before whole number no actually 7 is alone that means it's a whole number there is no decimal part so write 7 first and here decimal before 0 is there that is whole number 0 0.07 if you want you can write 7.00 if you write 00, 0 7 value does not change that remains same now 7 0 and here 7 that means 7.07 rupees okay so like this you have to do now these two sums these two sums you can copy it in the CW that means I will do it and I will send you you all know how I am sending the classwork okay I explained but these two sums I will do the and classwork and I will send you okay next third sum children okay See the third question children, third question first row man, what he has given, express 5 centimeters in meters and kilometers, that means he is asking two questions, he is asking to change centimeters into meters and then into kilometers, what is the question he has given, 5 centimeters, the first thing is he asked to change it into meters, but you know 1 meter equals to 100 centimeters 1 meter equals to 100 centimeters now here 5 centimeters is there now but 5 centimeters which side is there right side ok so right here 5 centimeters now 5 centimeters you have to convert into meters same how you did into rupees same method 5 into 1 by 100 that is 5 by 100 that is nothing but 0 0.05 meters 0 0.05 meters ok now 5 centimeters is converted into meters that is 0 0.05 meters now in that only asked to change it into kilometers now you know kilometers 1 kilometer equals to 1000 meters 1 kilometer is equals to 1000 meters ok now you got already in meters 0 0.05 right here 0 0.05 meters now this 0 0.05 convert into kilometers you don't know ok again same process 0 0.05 into 1 by 1000 0 0.05 into 1 is 0 0.05 by 1000 now here you may get doubt again ok easy but I will tell you listen only placing of decimal little bit confused but don't get 
and there to solve it. First, what is there in the denominator, right? What is there in the denominator? What is there? 0 0.05. Okay. Now here, how many digits are there? 1, 2, 3. Now, you have to start placing the decimal and means, that means you have to count. From here, you have to count. Here, point is there, no? See here, I'll tell you. First write, 0, 5. Point before, 0 is there, no? Now, 1, 2, 3. Means, from here, you have to count. 1, 2, 3, point, 0. Is it clear? 0 0.05 First write 0 0.05 Even if you want to write 0 also without any decimal Shall I tell once again? Listen very carefully First write the numerator without decimal First write the numerator without decimal That means 0 0 0.05 Okay? Now 1 2 3 Right? 1, 2, 3 digits means 3 zeros. Now, from where you have to count? Not from here. You should not count from here when it is in decimal. You have to start from here. That means 1, 2, 3, point, 0. Because point is here. So, from here we have to leave 3 digits. From here we have to leave 3 digits. So, 1, 2, 3. Then point. So 0 0.0005 kilometers. So like this you have to do it. Okay. You can do first Roman and second Roman and third Roman remaining sums homework. Okay. Take down the homework. These two sums also. This sum also I will do in the CW and I will send. Okay. Max homework. Exercise. 2.5 first Roman full second Roman second second Roman 3 4 5 third Roman second two no, total these many sums very less today homework because only explanation part it took time okay so tomorrow you may get chance to do more homework okay and even I am giving you worksheets also, basing on this only, try to do it. Today also I am going to send some worksheets, okay? So along with this, try to finish up the worksheets also. Okay children, have a nice day children.